Hey y'all, welcome back to my shop. In today's video, I'm going to be running some test programs uh, to check the accuracy of this machine. I've got some uh, scrap MDF here that I'm going to use. And uh, the, the first uh, program is going to be what I consider conservative uh, values as far as uh, the feed rate, depth of cut, the plunge rate, and all that. I, that way there won't be, uh, you know, I should get a good, accurate part or as accurate as this machine can do. Then all the subsequent programs that I run after that are going to be the same part, but they're going to be with increased feed rates, increased plunge rates, a little deeper depth of cut, that kind of thing. And we'll see if we lose any accuracy as we uh, really... Uh, test the machine a little further. Uh, like I said, I've got this three quarter inch MDF, some scrap pieces, and I normally run these little test parts out of half inch. So what I'm going to do in, you know, the essence of time here, I'm going to just do the profile cut where it cuts down about five eighths. And then I'll take these around to my bandsaw and, and cut them out, but we'll still be able to, uh, you know, measure all the detail that it's putting in the test part and, you know, find out for sure just how accurate this machine is and at what uh, feed rates and stuff like that. Now, I'll probably videotape the whole thing, but as far as for this video, I'll probably just show about 30 seconds worth of clips uh, of each program that's being run. That way you will be able to hear if the router is struggling at all, if it's chattering, breaks a bit, you know, whatever happens, uh, I'll have it all recorded, but I'm not gonna, you know, video would be really long if I did four different test programs and, and put the whole thing in there. So anyway, I got it all set up, ready to do the first one. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, just a couple of things I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, for this, all of these tests, I'm going to be using the same bit. This is a quarter inch uh, upcut bit. I'd rather use a quarter inch, you know, than something smaller like a one eighth. You know, I'm trying to eliminate uh, the possibility of deflection and stuff. So, still may get some with this when we start getting up into the bigger speeds, but we'll see. But anyway, it's going to be the same bit throughout. The other thing is, too, is this uh, NEMA Labs router that they're using for a spindle here. It has the dial here, one through six. And I looked on the website and I can't find anywhere where it gives the RPM for these different numbers. So I'm going to go with the assumption that this is pretty similar to the Makita. The Makita router has six uh, positions on the switch and it starts at like 10,000 and goes up to 30,000 and I've got them wrote down, but I don't, I don't remember. So, you know, this one says it'll go from 7,000 to 30. So maybe a little different there, but just for the purpose of this test, I'm going to run them all the same. Just put it on three, which should be somewhere between maybe 12 and 16,000 RPM. I won't know for sure until I get NEMA labs to confirm that. But, uh, won't matter if it's, you know, if it's all the same, it should, uh, should work out okay. So, uh, anyway, let's get on with the second test.
Okay, let's take a look at the dimensions that I'm going to be checking. It's a real simple part, basically a four inch square. It has three pockets that are, all three of them are one quarter inch deep. There's a three eighths um, round pocket in the upper right hand corner, a half inch round pocket in the lower left hand corner, and then right in the middle is uh, a square um, with radius corners and it is uh, 750 or three quarters of an inch square so those are what I'm going to be checking I'm also going to be checking the whole part for square and uh, let's, let's take a look at what the results look like okay here's a look at the uh, parts and I've got all the feed rate and all that kind of information up above there so you can take a look for yourself and see uh, what the feed rate was and plunge rate and all that all of the parts came out very square i took my little uh machinist square and and put on the edge of the parts in both directions and held it up to the light and couldn't see any light so they were all very square you'll notice all of the pockets are very consistent as far as their dimensions but they're a little bit undersized and I went back and took the calipers and checked the bit that I was using because it wasn't a brand new bit. It had some miles on it. And it was uh, about four or five thousandths undersized. So that would account for these uh, pockets being a little undersized. But they are very consistent. And that's what I was really looking for. All of the overall dimensions uh, of all the parts were very good. Uh, you'll notice number four, we lost about uh, five thousandths there uh, in the Y direction on that one. But that could have been from some bit deflection because as you saw in the video, it was moving pretty fast uh, going around there. So that could have been what caused that. Okay, if you are still watching at this point in the video, I thank you for sticking around. I know this is kind of a long, uh, drawn out video doing these tests, but uh, I did think it would be, since the program, the longest one was the first one and it was like four minutes and something, but I figured I'd go ahead and just do it all and let y'all hear and see everything just in case, you know, something happened to chatter or something like that. But it all ran good. Uh, I was very happy with the results. Uh, like I said, that bit was a little undersized, which caused some of the dimensions to be off a little bit, a little undersized, but they were all very consistent. And that's the important thing is that, and the, the round um, pockets and all that, you know, they're, you can look at them and tell they're round and you can even tell it when you measure it with the caliper. So all that came out very good. So I've got to tell you, I don't think I've quite reached fanboy status just yet, but I really, really, really like this machine and uh, if you want to check out one of these machines or any other product from uh, Nemo Labs I've got a link to their website down below in the video description if you're interested in purchasing one of these machines I have some links down below in the video description for that as well they are Amazon affiliate links so you'd not only be getting you a great deal on one of these machines from Amazon you'd also be helping out my channel a little bit so I would appreciate that very much. But I guess that's going to do it for this video. 
If you haven't already given me a thumbs up or subscribe, please consider doing so. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.